massive schools of squid appear off the Pacific coast at certain times of the year. These are Pacific market squid, and they have gathered to mate and to lay eggs. Fishermen have capitalized on this phenomena since the 1850s. Commercial fishing boats go out at night and use bright lights to attract squid to their nets. Sometimes, curious scuba divers brave the dark night waters to get a closer look. The squid schools can be so thick that it's easy to lose sight of your diving buddy. Squid are invertebrates, animals without backbones, yet they are highly developed animals that live a fast swimming predatory lifestyle similar to fish. Squid have very good eyesight and they use this to hunt their prey. This Caribbean reef squid is pivoting around using its eyes to zero in on bait fish that are attracted to the video lights. Squid have eight arms and two tentacles. They have great control over the movements of their arms and tentacles. They can shoot out the tentacles to catch food. Watch again in slow motion. This time the fish gets away. Here are Pacific market squid, which are schooling together to mate. Males use their arms to grab and hold females. The arms of a male usually turn red when he successfully mates with a female. As the male holds the female, he uses a specialized arm to deposit spermatophores inside the female's mantle. Females make a gelatinous finger-shaped casing for their eggs. Each finger may contain 100 to 300 eggs. A female searches for a suitable spot to anchor her egg casing, then buries it in the sand using her arms. Each female can produce 20 to 30 egg fingers and the ocean floor is soon covered with eggs. In fact, the ocean floor can look like it has been hit by a massive underwater snowstorm. The egg fingers remain anchored in the sand for three to five weeks as the babies develop inside. A closer look reveals that each squid sits in its own egg capsule and is nourished by a large yolk. As the tiny squid grows, the yolk gets smaller. This baby has very little yolk remaining. These squid have just hatched and are the size of rice grains. Observation of tiny squid under the microscope reveals some interesting details. Squid have three hearts, one at the base of each gill and one at the center. In this young squid, you can see the hearts beating at the base of the frilly gills. The gill hearts pump blood into the gills to gather oxygen. Blood then flows to the larger systemic heart, which pumps this oxygenated blood to the rest of the body. Here's a close-up view of one of the branched gills which gather oxygen from the water. Another interesting detail that can be viewed under the microscope is the squid's ability to camouflage. Squid can change color very quickly because their outer skin is filled with tiny pigment sacs called chromatophores. These sacs can expand and contract to rapidly change the overall color of the animal. The functioning of chromatophores can be seen clearly when a baby squid is viewed under the microscope. Each pigment sac is surrounded by muscles which can pull or release to make the pigment spread out or concentrate into a dot. Pacific market squid only live for one year. After mating and laying their eggs, the squid die. Other ocean animals, like this octopus, move in to feed on the dead squid. Here, two swimming crabs play tug-of-war with the remains of a squid. 
Larger animals like angel sharks and bat rays also take advantage of the easy food source. Even though the Pacific market squid have a short lifespan, they are an important component in the Pacific Ocean food chain. These animals can be found in ocean waters from Baja to Alaska. During their brief lives, they are a critical food source for numerous species of birds, fish, invertebrates, and marine mammals.